Hey, what's up, guys? It's Fever Films here, and welcome to my Fever 16 Ultimate Team Potential Car Design video. Um, let me just say, it did take me over a week to sit down and to take my time and to do this right. Um, it did take me a very long time to complete these, uh, and I would just really appreciate if you guys would please leave a like, rate, comment, and subscribe, and um, I would really appreciate that. But uh, yeah, guys, we are gonna just go over uh, my potential car design. So uh, yeah, let's get started. All right, guys. So uh, these are my FIFA 16 potential car designs. Um, as you guys can see, look pretty. Uh, they look pretty nice. Um, I kind of went for the FIFA 12 slash FIFA 13 uh design within those cards. Um, I really, really like the FIFA 12 um lines. Uh, the diagonal lines um in the middle of the card, and then with the FIFA 13 with the hexagons. Um, those are my two favorite FIFA um cards, and so I just kind of made one into a FIFA 15, FIFA 16 card. Um, like layout, and then I made the FIFA 13 uh, and FIFA 12 um, kind of card design in that. So uh, yeah, guys, we go here to my rare cards. Um, we do have Akin Fenwa, Win, and Neymar, um, and all the other cards uh, are all Neymar. Um, just because I really uh, wanted to see what these cards look like. So uh, yeah, guys, those are the rare cards. Um, they are nice and shiny. Uh, we do have the chemistry style right under the name, which is in the top right instead of in the middle. Um, and then we do have uh, the player rating and the position um, up on top of each other rather than side to side. Uh, but yeah, guys, we do move on into the non-rare players. Um, just a simple uh, light gold, silver, and bronze color uh, there with uh, a white hexagons and um, the color of the card uh, there for the FIFA 12 layer. Um, we do have the uh, text as black, uh, as that is how uh, EA Sports have always done it in their non-rare cards. Um, but yeah, guys, we do move on into the inform cards, uh, the bronze, silver, and gold cards. Uh, we do have the font as the color of the card. Uh, we do have the light um, on the up on the top left and up on the bottom right. Uh, it did take me a while there to figure out how to do it, but I did finally find out uh, just to how to get that gold, silver, and bronze lighting. Uh, but yeah, guys, I do think there that the outline of the card does look really nice, um, as that is what EA always do there to their informed cards. Uh, yeah, guys, that did take me a while, but uh, we do move on into my Team of the Season cards um, with the exact same thing as the bronze, silver, and gold lighting. Uh, but yeah, guys, I do think that those cards look very nice. Uh, just there with the blue and the gold um, and the bronze and the silver. Um, I just think that overall, those cards look pretty sexy. Uh, but then, yeah, guys, we do move on into the final cards, um, which are my special cards. Uh, we do have the Team of the Year card, all blue, um, which, by the way, guys, my Team of the Year cards, the Team of the Year is my favorite time of FIFA. Um, but, yeah, guys, we do move on to the St. Paddy's Day green card, um, which they had released this year. Uh, and last year, um, in FIFA 14, uh, they had released those for the World Cup. Uh, but, yeah, guys, this year, they had decided to do it for St. Paddy's Day because St. Paddy's Day uh, is mostly based around the color green uh and then yeah guys next we do move on to the pink cards um i actually do have something to say about those um i guess that after the team of the year which should hopefully like i pray to god that uh that the team of the season um should be coming out very soon um and i guess that ea are gonna release some pink cards for like a charity or something um after the team of the season so uh I mean, I don't know whether that is um, 100% for sure, but uh, that is just what I've been uh, what I've been hearing um, there around the FIFA community. Uh, but yeah, guys, and then we do move on to the record breaker card, uh, a nice shade of red and blue. Uh, record breaker Ronaldo looked absolutely um, insane. Unfortunately, I do not have enough coins uh, to buy him, um, and nobody is obviously going to give him up because there's no possible way because of the price ranges, which actually suck this year. Um, but yeah, guys, moving on, um, getting a little bit there off topic, we should move on to my legend card. This is my favorite card that I've edited together. I just think that it looks sexy, sexy, sexy. Just look at it. Nice and white and uh, j j just a nice little white and a gold color there with a gold outline uh, and the chemistry style box looks pretty sweet uh, and the FIFA 12, FIFA 13 layer. I just think that the FIFA 12 and 13 layers were the best too um, and the FIFA 15, their card, I thought that the best, um, their card was not in the box uh, but was in the uh, little shield form and um, I just really wanted to put it in the shield form just to kind of see there how it would look and I think that it looks really nice. Uh, and then yeah guys, we do move on into the man the match which Morata did uh, just have there uh, for scoring the winning goal um, in the Juve v uh, Real Madrid match. By the way, guys, I will have um, a 
full-on live game reaction video uh, for the UEFA Cup Final, uh, which is on June 6th. Uh, but yeah, guys, finally, we do move on to the pro player card. Um, a nice uh, little light blue slash turquoise, uh, their little color. By the way, if you guys do not know what the pro player card is, um, every pro football player uh, that actually does play FIFA Ultimate Team um, is given their own 95-rated card um, that is of their own. For instance, uh, Nazri and uh, Ferdinand. Um, and uh, I think... I, I'm not sure, um, but I do know that Nazari and Ferdinand, uh, that they do have their two own cards. Um, and they are pretty nice looking cards. Uh, they are both untradeable, um, and uh, they are given by EA. Uh, but yeah, guys, these are basically all of my FIFA 16 potential card designs. As I said, did take me over a week to sit down and finish it all up. Um, so I would really appreciate if you guys could uh, like, rate, comment, and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. But uh, yeah, guys, that's basically pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching, and I will uh, see you guys next time. Stay cool.